Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and I'll be your guide as we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Tom Bin Cynic 30. Let's check it out. After a decade of designing and making bags on his own, Tom Ben officially founded Tom Ben Inc. in 1982 in Santa Cruz, California. Their gear is built with longevity in mind, with high quality products and well-tested designs. Tom Ben is a certified B Corporation, a member of 1% for the Planet, and based in Seattle, Washington. The Cynic is their popular classic backpack design, and this is the 30 liter version. It weighs just over three pounds, has a 420D high tenacity nylon, uh, edgeless straps, YKK AquaGuard zippers, and will hold up to a 15 inch laptop. This is the first Tom Ben bag that I've ever tried out. I've kind of shied away from the brand a little bit. It's got some solid dad vibes. Uh, but man, the organization on this is great, the, the materials are great, and it exceeded my expectations. So let's check out this bag, starting with the exterior. The outside of this is this really nice navy. This is a 420D Parapack on the outside. The interior has a 210D Coyote Ballistic Nylon. On the front, you see we have access to a lot of different compartments. Uh, we've got our main compartment here with these big zippers. Uh, you've got a a uh, water bottle pocket here, a small pocket here, two small pockets on the sides here, and a front pocket. The bottom of the pack is this 420 pair pack, and uh, you've got a little bit of cushioning at the bottom as well. The left side when you're wearing the pack is very similar to the right side, uh, but you do have access to the lab compartment uh, on the back here. The right side when you're wearing the pack has this main compartment zipper going through it and not much else. The back of the pack has a decent amount of cushion here and the top is this mesh that helps with sweat. The frame sheet is inside of here and that is removable if you don't want the frame sheet. This also acts as a luggage pass through if you wanna stick this on top of your luggage when you're traveling. The shoulder straps have no edge and an EVA foam that is pretty comfortable. There are no load lifters on this, that would have been nice. Uh, the sternum strap is adjustable here and you've got this plastic hardware for the sternum strap and just a little bit of Tom Ben branding right here. At the bottom you've got this plastic hardware and this strap doesn't really have any you know, organization or strap keeper or anything like that. I know Tom Ben has web dominators and things like that to help with your strap management. Uh, that would have been nice to be included with this. And then you do have these loops at the bottom for the waist strap and they provide a small minimal waist strap with this. On the back on the side, you also have access to the laptop compartment. You've also got this Tom Ben branding on the bottom and the side here. It used to be uh, centered at the top and with this design, they put it down at the bottom. At the top, you've got a few compartments that you have access to, as well as this handle. The handle isn't super cushioned, but it is fairly comfortable. So let me try this on for you. I've got it fully loaded. So I really like the curvature of the shoulder straps on this, and the padding is, is pretty comfortable. I am six foot three, 180 pounds. So let's get into this bag, and before we do, I'd love for you to triple click for me. Click the like button, subscribe button, and ring that bell to check out all our future reviews. Thanks. I do have this bag full with my office EDC. I've been using it for a couple weeks. So as we explore each compartment, I will be doing a loadout. So at the top here, we've got a small quick access pocket that I use for my phone. Um, and then I've got an O-ring right here that you can use for clipping your keys or something like that. Now this pocket doesn't go all the way down to this seam, it stops right about here. So this is a small quick access pocket for small items. And here you can see that coyote color right here. Just above that, we've got a water bottle pocket, uh, which is, you know, Maybe a weird spot for a water bottle pocket. Uh, it's fairly large, reaches all the way down to this seam. It will fit a thousand milliliter water bottle. So this will hold a pretty big water bottle. I've been using the Lark and have really enjoyed this water bottle. Now the idea with a water bottle in the middle is it's not gonna offset the weight of the bag uh, if you've got a full water bottle on one side. Uh, having said that, that's never bothered me in the past and I kind of prefer it on the side. It's a quick access, um, but it's just a different style. It's something you got to get used to. Now we also have these side pockets uh, and they curve a little bit and have a pretty good amount of dimension to them. So I've got my uh, Dan Matsuda article 118 right here and I use that for my sunglasses. I've also got a Patagonia ultralight black hole hip pack inside of here in case I need just a small hip pack on the go. 
So on the inside of this, uh, we've got another O-ring that you can use to attach a carabiner or something. There is a small pocket just on the inside side of this. So you can put small items in here. This other pocket is very similar size. I've got a pair of glasses in here and this is my, where I keep my Western Rise Versa hat. Just roll up the bill, pop it in there. This is my Article 110 from Dan Matsuda. I've also got a small towel for Matador, a couple of cleaning wipes for my screens. So on this side, instead of one interior pocket, there are three small ones. You've got a, a pen pocket and then two small ones right here. We also have an O-ring for clipping carabiners and things. These pockets are a decent size. Then at the bottom, we've got a fairly large compartment. Uh, I've got a iPhone anchor stand, and these are my additional straps for the bag. So. Uh, this is what this this is what the waist strap looks like. So as you can see, very minimal. Uh, attaches pretty easily to the sides, and then you've got this plastic hardware. Personally, I haven't really used this. I think if I use this bag for travel, I might use it. Um, but it's such a it's such a thin strap. I, I don't know that I would want to pick this one to use. And we've got three O-rings on the top of this inside pocket uh, for clipping various items. Uh, and a decent amount of room in this bottom pocket. Then on the back on the side, we have access to the laptop compartment. And I've got my laptop in a triple lot design transit sleeve. So this is my 13 inch laptop. I've got it in this sleeve because I don't really trust the, the bottom of this. It's not really a suspended laptop sleeve. And so that makes me a little uncomfortable. So I wanna make sure I've got some additional padding for my laptop. As you can see, you've got this Coyote 210D on the back and then uh, kind of a mesh on the inside. And there's a top access here on the inside. I'll show you in just a minute. Access to the main compartment, you've got these two large, uh, I believe these are number 10 YKK zippers for the main compartment. And this opens full clamshell. Oh. Now I've got two pouches I'm using on the inside of this. These are actually slings that I'm using as pouches. Uh, so this one I've got, my iPad, uh, my iPad mini, and then some uh, electronics cables and things inside of this D-Made Bags pouch. Yeah, that orange, it pops. And this is the uh, Bellroy sling in the marine blue beta. And then this is the Coat of Bell X-Pod. Big fan of this one. Uh, I've got it in blue and also in black. And this just has some basic EDC items inside. So we've got playing cards, a pen, a gum, mints, additional hand sanitizer, uh, clips earbuds, uh, anchor cable, anchor power bank. And then in the front, I've also got um, this small Dyneema pouch. Got some candies inside here. And then my Green Room 136 sardine pouch. And this has, you know, essential oil, cologne, chapstick, an emergency mask, got some deodorant, and I think this has ibuprofen in it. This capsule is from the James brand. And then a handkerchief. Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at this. Oh, it's a City Trekker handkerchief. Wow. How can I get one of those? Well, just contact City Trekker. I'm sure they can hook you up. Got this nice topo in the back. I think these are like 25 bucks, uh, but hit me up, I'll hook you up. And there's also a back zipper. I got nothing in here. So the inside of this, you've got this mesh. Um, it's pretty thick mesh. I think it's two layers of mesh maybe. And then it zips open here at the top and this gives you access to the laptop compartment. So if you wanna access your laptop from the inside of the bag instead of the outside, uh, you can do that. Then you've got these uh, O-rings on either side as well as these lash points for these straps. So if, you, if you've got you know clothes in here, you're traveling, you can put these straps in here and hold down your clothes. So it's a nice option to have these straps. Uh, I'm not really gonna use them, but it's a good option. And then on this side, you've got a pocket right here that's good for like a jacket. Uh, I actually have my full focus planner in here. And that's it. We've got a tag with some branding made in the USA. So some good minimal organization here. What I don't see is a spot for a tablet. So you've got your laptop compartment, but you don't have a spot that is specifically designated for your tablet. And these days, I feel like a lot of people have a laptop and a tablet, myself included. I really would have liked to seen a tablet pocket somewhere in this bag. So this is the Tom Ben Cynic 30, a classic style backpack with a lot of compartments. You got, I think seven different compartments on this, some good organization, some comfortable shoulder straps. And if you like this style, you are gonna love this bag. 30 liters is pretty large for an everyday carry. So some people use this for a travel bag. Personally, I have a tough time figuring out what, what to use a 30 liter bag for. 
Two other bags in the 30 liter range that I've really enjoyed using are the Able Carry Max and the Alchemy Equipment AEL222, and I'll link to those down below. I hope you've enjoyed this review, and if you have, please click the link down below and subscribe to the channel to check out all our future reviews. Thanks so much, and take care.